Hello everyone and welcome to my messy kitchen. Uh, my kitchen is a total disaster right now because I finally decided to update my 60 year old cabinets. Um, we've been in this house for five, almost five years and this is one of the big projects that I've been wanting to do but I just kept putting off and putting off because I knew it would be time consuming. But I finally just started it and now I'm forced to finish it so I'm going to show you what I have done so far and what I have left to do and I'm going to show you all the paint that I'm using and the whole process I'm going to bring you guys along and I have my little helper with me here today we started at our <laughs> hello we started on this section here as you can see. Say hi, Lena. Hi. <laughs> and we did the bottom half. This is how it's looking. I absolutely love it. But it definitely has been a huge process. Um, I've been working on this for three days. This is my fourth day. So this is where we got to last time. And as you can see, I've already taken off three of the doors. And we still have all of this to do as well. So that's the last little bit, which doesn't seem like much. But once you get into it, it it's very time consuming. So I the first thing I did was just remove the doors. And those bad boys are over here. So I need to take all the hardware off. I'm going to remove this and these and then there's also these little latches. I'm going to remove those and I have been spray painting all of the hardware black. So this is all the stuff that I am using for this process. Um, once we have taken all of the hardware off of the doors. We can then begin by cleaning them really well and cleaning wherever we're going to paint with this denatured alcohol. Um, I mixed 50% of this with 50% water and it's in that little spray bottle and you just want to really coat it really well um, to clean it the best that you can and get as much of that gunk off of the doors and off of the cabinets as you can so that the paint will go on smoothly and once that's done you can then start painting with whatever um, color you chose this is covered in paint but uh, the brand is general finishes and this is water-based milk paint this milk paint it actually dries fairly quickly um, maybe about 20 minutes per coat so I've been putting two coats two thick coats um, on everything and then we finish it off with one top coat of this general finishes flat out flat water-based top coat and it really just gives it a nice feel it's not rough um, it also makes it shiny and obviously it will protect it from any damage. So this is very important as well. If you're going to be doing this, you are going to need a top coat. Some other things that you are definitely going to need for this project are a screwdriver or a hand drill. Um, this one is called Hyper Tough and I think I got it at Walmart for like $10. And it's totally worth $10. It works really well and it even is rechargeable. So I definitely recommend that one. Um, as you can see, I've been putting all of my hardware in little baggies so that I do not lose it because I will if I don't do that. Um, and then obviously you need brushes. Um, a cool trick that I learned from my brother if you wrap your brushes in plastic bags it'll save it so that it won't dry out I don't know if everybody knows this life hack but I surely did not until my brother told me about it so that's what I've been doing I just wrap it up when I'm done for the day and uh, the next day it's ready to use again 
but I bought some roller brushes as well some of the small ones um, just to get the places that I can't really reach in the back of the cabinets or uh, for the doors those come in handy as well and then we have some some of these trays I bought a huge pack of these trays um, also recommend getting some tape some type of tape because you may not need a lot I definitely didn't need a lot but there's some places here and there that definitely need tape um, and then here's my paint in my cup I just put a plastic bag over it and taped it so that I wouldn't have to dump it in the can Elena what are you doing you want to hold me? Yeah. Okay, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I definitely recommend using some gloves whenever you are cleaning with the denatured alcohol because that stuff is not meant to be on your skin. Um, but this is all the stuff that I'm using, and it's really not much for this big of a project. Also... What comes in handy is some cardboard boxes, and that is a white box, um, but just some cardboard boxes to set these uh, doors on work really well, and then I also have like a work stool here, um, but that way you can elevate those doors and make sure you're getting the edges really well. Guys, I'm definitely going to clean all of these before I spray paint them. Um, I'm pretty sure they have never been taken off before and look at that. I would purchase all new ones, but I'm cheap. <laughs> so I'm saving, I'm definitely saving a lot of money just by spray painting these instead of buying all new ones. I'm very generous with this stuff, and it stinks, by the way. It smells really bad, but you need to use a lot of it to get everything off. This is the rag after only three shelves. I haven't even done, or three doors I mean, I haven't even done the actual shelves yet. And this is what the rag looks like. That's disgusting. Okay guys, I finished cleaning the doors and now I'm going to clean what's behind me so that I can get all that painted today and I'm hoping to have this little section done by the end of the day. Um, so I'm leaving everything on the shelves right now because what happened was I painted on the bottom half of the kitchen I painted the insides of the shelves and the back of the wall and I painted the entire thing because it needs to be painted uh, but then I realized that I have less than a gallon of paint left when I was done with that so I was like probably shouldn't keep doing that because I'm gonna run out and then I'm gonna have to order more and wait and my kitchen's gonna look halfway done. So instead of doing it that way I decided to paint the outside first and then I'm gonna order some more paint and eventually I'll get the inside done. But Okay guys for this section I'm going to spray um, this onto the towel before wiping it instead of just spraying it directly on it because all of my glasses and plates and everything are in these cabinets and I do not want to get them covered with this stuff. So let's get started. So 
So I'm using a smaller brush to get inside of these creases and then I go over it with the roller brush. So you definitely don't need one of these roller brushes, um, but I find that it looks, I think it looks better uh, whenever it is rolled on rather than just using that smaller brush all around. Um, but it can definitely be done without it. I also find that it takes longer just to use the brush rather than this kind of brush. Okay guys, the first coat is done and as you can see there's a lot of places where you can still see the color of the wood so that's why we're going to do a second coat. I just want to remind you if you're doing this at home, do not let that scare you. With each coat it's going to get better and better and it's going to cover more. Um, you can still see the paint under that but don't worry. Don't let it discourage you. It's going to be fine. It's going to be better. I also got the second coat on these doors and they are looking amazing.
So I want to show you guys something with this top coat. Um, it is very runny. If you go over the edge, watch this. You'll see that it will drip and it looks white if it doesn't uh, get spread out or brushed out properly and that will stay like that if you don't catch that it'll dry like that and you'll be seeing that constantly so if you're going to use this top coat just make sure that you aren't getting any of those i call them drippies <laughs> it's probably not the proper term but you just want to look out for that Look at how beautiful this is. We got this section completely done. Got the doors on. And it looks amazing. I am so happy with this. I'm trying to decide what color I should paint this. Um, I don't know if I should paint it the gray or the other one in the kitchen is actually white. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. But this right here is our final section and that will take me another day to finish um it's around like 8 8 p.m now so it's about time to get elena to bed and get myself to bed too because i'm exhausted um so that's the final little section and then my entire kitchen will be completely done this is all we have left we're finishing this today. Let's do it. Espresso, it's going in. Uh, I just spilled that everywhere.
my kitchen is finally done and I am so happy with how it turned out. It really changes the entire look of the room. So it really just goes to show how much a little bit of paint can completely transform a room. If you guys are trying this at home and you have any questions, you can feel free to comment below and I will answer all of your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos. See you guys in the next one.